Hi, welcome back to another episode of HiQ Adobe XD. In this episode, we're going to be continuing off of what we just learned with the Shape tool and start using the more advanced Pen tool. So I'm continuing off from my previous artboard here. I just deleted the shapes that I had from the last time. And we're going to jump right into the actual Pen tool. So over on the left here, I'm just going to click on the Pen tool, which is right under the Line tool or the letter P on the keyboard. So it's usually best to have a mouse or a tablet if you are using the pen tool. It just makes it much easier to well, handle. So with the pen tool, there's a lot of ways that we can utilize this. So I'm just going to start off the basics. If I just click, it'll start with my first handle point. And then I'm just going to go over to another point here and click again. And now I've created a, another anchor point. I just keep clicking and now I can create a full shape. And all I have to do to finish this shape is either right click or find the origin point and then wait till it gets highlighted and then I can click and now I've created a completed shape. So just to show this completed shape, I'm going to go over to my properties here and just check on fill and then select an actual fill color. And there we go. Now, another way to utilize the pen tool, I'm just gonna hit the letter P to go back to my pen tool, is as soon as I start, I'm going to click and drag at the same time. Okay. What this does is this will create an actual Bezier curve handle. So what you'll see is now my shape has a little bit of an arc to it. So if I go over here and click and drag again, now I create a dual Bezier curve handle. And there we go. At any point I can hover over any of these handles and click and drag them to modify the actual Bezier curve. So I'm just going to draw a couple more, clicking and dragging. And then I'll maybe end this one with just a click, click, and another click and drag, and close it off. Okay. So as you can see, I can still just click to create solid lines that have more harsh edges. Okay. Now on this last little shape here, I want to make sure that both sides of this are on a consistent Bezier curve. As you can see, it's only a one directional one here and it has a little bit of a harsh angle. So what I can do is I can click on this nodal point here or handle and I can drag it around. So I'm going to draw just another shape over here. So I'll click and drag and then while I'm clicking and dragging, I'll just create another one here and I'm just going to move that down here and I'm using the auto guides to try and line it up to create a circle and then when I click and drag on the closing point I'm going to click and hold and then while I'm doing that I'm holding shift to make sure that it stays nice and straight and there we go so let's click on this handle here and I'm going to resize both sides just to try and get a bit more of a rounded circle here now you can modify your actual shape by staying on the pen tool. So I'll just go pen tool and then oh, make sure I select the shape first. So I'll just go to my select tool, select the shape, and then back to my pen tool. So I'm just going to add to this shape. While I still have it selected, I can still see that anywhere on this shape I can click to add another point. So if I click, I can add the point and then I can move that point or change its bezier angles. Now if you've deselected your shape and you want to reselect or add more points to it, just with your select tool, click on the shape, and then once it's selected, double click and you'll be entered back in where you can modify any of the pen points. Perfect. So that's the basics of the actual pen tool. Fairly easy to use and you can create some pretty complex shapes out of it. Next time we're going to get into the text tool and create some actual elements. Till next time. HiQ is filmed in Highlight Creative Group Studio in Kelowna, British Columbia and is made with the help of our creative team. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and check us out at highlight.com.